every single day, I try to remember to say this to myself, Callaway, if you're successful, that means you know what used to work. You with me? If I'm successful, I know what used to work. If I'm successful, that means I can compete and win in markets that no longer exist. They're gone. Agreed? I can tell you all day long how to compete and win in 1995, 99, 2001, 2002, 2003. So far, so good. Tomorrow, it's a new day. Kristen, here's the deal. If you go to work for us, it's going to be like running a race. I need you to go out there to that track. I need you to run the first lap as fast as you possibly can. Are you willing to do that for me? Okay, then I need you to gradually increase the speed each lap after that. <laughs> can any of you relate to that? I just ran the lap as fast as I can possibly run it. And then somebody comes in and says, hey, i got some new numbers I want you to take a look at. You need to increase the speed every single lap after that. It's interesting. That's exactly what Jack was talking about. That's all Project Innovation is about as far as I can tell. Listen to this. Did you catch what Project Innovation is about? Not. I wrote it down because it struck me. This is a gutsy move, gang, because he said we're not talking about incremental change. We're talking about zero basing everything. So it's not, here's where we are, how can we tweak it and make it better? It's, forget that. If we were to start over, what would it look like? Am I right? That's pretty much zero basic. You know what it made me think of? Peter Drucker, who a lot of people would say is the greatest business thinker of our time. Peter Drucker said this. He said, you show me a truly consistently successful company and somebody somewhere made a courageous decision. This project innovation is a courageous decision. Make no mistake about it. Because what you're going to have to do is create space for what will come next. And that means letting go of stuff that works. Or at least it's worked up to now. So the second factor is willingness to let go and move on to the next thing. It's fast food. What would you say is the basic brand promise of any company that's in the fast food business. What would it be? That it's going to be bingo! So we're looking forward to keep the brand promise and we're expecting sh lightning service. Actual reenactment. As we stand there expecting that lightning uh, service, here's what happened. Counter cash register, may pitch stand behind me. Here's what happened. I don't know. Okay, time out. Yeah. First of all, it's not that nobody was there. As I recall, there were plenty of people in the kitchen that day. There's six or seven of them swarming around back there. And it's not that, it's not that they didn't see us. Not only did they see us, they were all making direct eye contact with us. You know that feeling, don't you? And you, it feels like the toilet. Look, let me show you. Switch places. You guys are now the customers. Here's the counter. Here's the cashier. But you're the customers. Back here's the kitchen. Here's what we saw. Six or seven McDonald's kids doing various versions of this, okay? You're the customers. You're waiting for something to happen. Here's what we saw. Jimmy, yeah, check the cups. We're, we're going to need some more cups out front. <laughs> all doing that. And this is why I love true stories. You you can't make up stuff this good. The guy standing behind me was one of the truck drivers. Big, I'm a pretty big guy. He's a big guy. He's like 6'6", 260. Big guy. He's standing behind me. He taps me on the shoulder. I turn around. He goes, hey, buddy, can you see me? Because, I mean... I can see you. Why can't they see us? 
don't know. About that time, about that time, the woman in the drive-in window, I'm assuming she was the shift manager. She turns around and says, somebody get the counter. Michelle, get the counter. So Michelle, 16 years old, right, comes up to the counter, big smile on her face. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? I give her the order. She puts the stuff in the sack. Thanks very much. Next, I said, Michelle, before I go, me and the folks here have been kind of talking among ourselves. And on behalf of the group, Michelle, let me ask you a question. This is McDonald's. This is, it's, it's fast food. You know, it's supposed to be fast food. And there are eight of us standing in a line at the counter. Every one of you saw us standing here. And nothing's happening up here. Now, don't get me wrong. No, nobody's goofing off. You're all working. We can see you're working. And maybe, you know, maybe you're doing something back there you have to do to take care of us up here. That's fine. We understand that. But we didn't get that information. See, Michelle, we're getting no information. We're getting no Happy Meals. We're getting nothing, Michelle. And so, I guess it boils down to this. How can that happen? And Michelle, with... With the straightest face God ever put on a human being. A little bit disgusted with me. She looks at me and she goes, Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Let me explain something to you. Okay, sir. We really do have a whole lot of things to do here besides just wait on customers. I could I couldn't even process it, much less respond to it. But here's, here's the point, and I'm very serious. And by the way, for virtually any company in any business, and I know you can relate to this, the most dangerous thing you can have customers saying, whatever words they use to express it, is, can you see me? You know that? And you've had customers say it to you, haven't you? And I've had them say it to me. Does anybody know I'm here? Does somebody hear me? Is somebody taking care of my problem? That's why when I come in and say, okay, let's see what they're all about. This hits me. It's bullseye. Bingo. You, you've got the value, not only great values, but you started out with, from a competitive standpoint, what I think is probably the most important one. So takeaway challenge number three, what are you going to do tomorrow, tomorrow, to make American Express even more customer focus.